it is <clears throat> the prize for the blue car shootout it is number eight of twelve it is a treasure hunt and it is jaded and this thing is gorgeous um, I really love it um, it has got the sticker for uh, the th closing date 31st of the 12th 2007 so I'm guessing this is a 2006 release um, brilliant flames down the side of this um, and this is the prize that we send out to the winning driver wherever they are in the world for the blue car shootout. Greetings Zaycast Racing fans, Sharky here and welcome back to Sharky's Garage for this episode 4 of the blue car shootout. Today we've got the top 8. I hope last week you enjoyed the unboxing and racing of the Hot Trucks 10 pack. You will see the winner of that parked alongside Matt Baker's winner from the small car shootout when we do the track overview in the bit. Today we have the top 8 and we will see the first 4 cars secure their place in the grand final today. In set 1 we've car 2 James Sterling in the Land Rover Freelander, car 4 Cuboid in the 1991 GMC Cyclone. Uh, this one's blue, the teal one that he drove last week did really well. We'll see if he can do the same sort of performance today. Car 5, the V-Man in the Subaru WRX STI and Car uh, 7 which is Mark Rich 21 in Fandango. In set 2 we have Car 8, Luke Nips in Sokomon, the 1970 Camaro. We have Car 9, Princess Sparkles in the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. We have Car 10, Kitsune in that Ford GT40. That thing was so rapid. And we have Car 11, Tomy in the 1968 Shelby GT500. I'm going to give you a quick track overview, but before we do that, don't forget to do the usual things like comment and subscribe. Let's show you at that end. My new Soldier 76 car. The winners that you see there, the Studebaker that won last week, and Matt Baker's winner from the last one, and the winner of the other competition. It's looking complicated. Please support there. The Avro Vulcan, the Aston Martin Vulcans. Set one, set two. Track support teams are ready. Our thanks go out to our sponsors, my brother Phil at Tomley RC. The team at the BERCC, Kelden Raven at Kelden Raven Customs, John at Modelmatic stood over there with Kelden and the track owner and the Flying Femman, and Cuboid from Four Cubed Racing who is racing in set one. So let's get these four up to the line and get down to the race. So set one, race one sees James Sterling in the Landy on the front of the blue lane, Cuboid in the Cyclone on the front. Of the red behind him in the Subaru is the V-Man and on the rear of the blue rain lane is Mark Rich 21 in Fandango three two one race. and the Land Rover has pulled him up part way we'll go for a reset Three, two, one, race. Landy, Fandango, the other two failed. Set up for race two. On the front of the blue lane is the Fandango, on the front of the red is the landing. Behind that is the Cyclone and on the rear of the blue lane is the Scooby. Three, two, one. Landy, Cyclone, Fandango, Scooby. Moving on to race three. The Scooby's on the front of the blue lane, the Fandango is on the front of the red. Behind the Fandango is the Landy, and on the rear of the blue lane is the Cyclone. Three, two, one. Fandango, Landy, Scooby, Cyclone. I'll have to check at the finish line. Set 
set up for race four of set one and points as it stands at the minute James Sterling in the land is on 13 Mark Rich 21 in Fandango is on 10 Cuboid in the Cyclone is on 4 and V-Man in the Scooby is on 3 so at the minute James Sterling and Mark Rich 21 look like they are probably heading to the top 8 we'll see what happens this time because the two lowest point scorers happen to be on the front this time on the front of the blue lane is Cuboid in the Cyclone. On the front of the red is V-Man in the Scooby. Behind that is Fandango. And on the rear of the blue lane is the Landy. Three, two, one, pass. Cyclone, Scooby, Fandango, Landy. Results of set one are as follows. First on 14 points is James Sterling in the Landy. Second on 12 points is Mark Rich 21 in Fandango. Third on nine points is Cuboid in the Cyclone. And fourth on six points is V-Man in the Scooby. Moving on to set two. We've got Luke Nips in Soccer Mom on the front of the blue lane. We have Princess Sparkles in the Demon on the front of the red. Behind her, the other female driver, Kitsune, in the Ford GT40 and the Shelby is on the rear of the blue lane and will be piloted by Tommy. Three, two, one, pass. Soccer Mom Shelby are the only two to finish. Moving on to set two, race two. The Shelby is on the front of the blue lane. Soccer Mom is on the front of the red. The Demon is on the rear of the red lane. Let's see if it can end up on its wheels and pass the line this time. And the GT40 is on the rear of the blue lane. Three, two, one, race. Shelby got sideways and the Shelby is the only one to finish. And Kitsune in the GT40 is on the front of the blue lane. With two no finishes, let's hope that Kitsune can get across the line this time. On the front of the red lane is the Shelby with um, Tommy at the wheel. At the rear of the, of the red lane is Soccer Mom. And on the rear of the blue lane is the Demon. Three, two, one, race. The Shelby's over. No, not the Shelby's over. The GT40's over. The Shelby and the Demon are the only two to finish. And as we go into race four, Kitsune will not be going straight to the grand final, but will definitely be going to redemption in a few weeks' time to get another shot of those last two spaces. Don't know what's going on with Kitsune today, just not on driving form. Um, points as it stands, Tomi in the Shelby is on 13 points. Luke Nips in Soccer Mom is on 5. Princess Sparkles in the Demon is on 3. And Kitsune in the GT40 is on 0 points. As they stand at the minute... Princess Sparkles in the Demon is on the front of the blue lane. Kitsune in the GT40 is on the front of the red. Tommy in the Shelby is on the rear of the red lane. And Luke Nips in Soccer Mom is on the rear of the blue. Three, two, one, race. GT40, Shelby, Soccer Mom and Demon fails to finish.
Well, folks, another heck of a day's racing. Uh, so the results from set two were as follows. Tommy in the Shelby on 16 points. Luke Nips in Soccer Mom on seven. Kitsune in the GT40 on five. And Princess Sparkles in the Demon on three. Kitsune really was having problems finishing, but she won the last race. So that means as follows. The four directly behind me here are through to episode seven the grand final the top point scorer this time on 16 points was car 11 tommy in the shelby um, he's going to go through probably as the number one seed um, on 14 points james sterling in car two the landy on 12 points car seven mark rich 21 on fandang with fandango and Cuboid in that cyclone squeaking through to the grand final on just nine points. Um, that was car four. We'll see how they get on. In three weeks time, we will see these four racing again. So we've got car eight, Loop Nips in Soccer Mom on seven points. We've got car five, the V-Man in the, in the Scooby on six points. We've got car 10, Kitsune, in the GT40 on just five points. And we've got car 9, Princess Sparkles, in the Demon on just three points. Kitsune was the number one seed coming into this. She came in with 16 points and today, don't know what happened, whether she was having a problem with the tyres, but she kept turning it over and not finishing. I hope she does better in episode 6, Redemption. That's it for today, folks. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you all next week where we will see the bottom eight and we'll see the first four eliminations from the competition.